Knowledge building centers are an important extension of the library. In the library, we have books and uh, physical resources for students to use. To uh, build a knowledge building center is to create a learning environment in the virtual space. So the attempt here was to take the uh, grade 10 climate change unit and create a knowledge building center uh, based on uh, the inquiry model. And we were going to be looking at exploring a topic, investigating that topic, processing information about that topic, and creating something about that topic. So we started with why study climate change? So students were given an opportunity to, to think about that. Then we went through an overview of what the project was going to be about. So students were uh, told they'd be creating this in the virtual space using Google Docs, and they'd be doing their research using the school's virtual library. And the topics we were going to address were these nine topics here. Students were then going to do presentations in class using the Picha Kucha format. Uh, this is uh, 20 slides, 20 seconds per slide. In the exploring stage, students were uh, to find out more about climate change. And in that process, we exposed them to a number of different web resources. The first one was Prezi, where students could take a look at uh, dynamic uh, presentation materials. So as we went through discussing what climate change was, students could see how Prezi works. We also used uh, embedded video. And in this case here, we're using a, a TED conference. This is Al Gore uh, speaking on climate change two years after his movie, An Inconvenient Truth. We also presented each of the topics to the students using uh, Google Slides. And we also created a, an online newspaper using Scoop It, where different articles could be collected into a topic. And finally, I wanted to create some sort of diagnostic. I needed to know if students had any preconceptions uh, about climate change and uh, also where their interests lay. Uh, some key questions here were, did they understand the difference between climate and weather? And what were their topics of interest and in giving them first, second, and third choice? The second part was the investigating. Students were to use the uh, WCI virtual library and to use two specific databases, the Global Issues in Context, which uh, covers uh, the environment and climate change. They were also to use the Greener database, which is the Global Reference and Environment, Energy, and Natural Resources database. They were to answer the following questions while conducting their research. And then they were to process that information using uh, a traditional uh, cause and consequence sheet they were able to better understand their topic and develop their thinking. Students were then encouraged to participate in discussions. Uh, we used uh, Google Groups and we wanted students to interact with each other and not just with their group members. So we were asking them to share what they've learned and ask questions and give answers about uh, whatever it is they were discussing. So here you can see we have all the groups and people were able to participate. In the end, after having had some time to to put together their thoughts, they were to create a shared note. Uh, two pages of material uh, with images that uh, gave us a summary of their topic. They were also to give us a, a nice annotated uh, bibliography so that if we wanted to learn more about their topic, we had uh, a place to go. And of course, we wanted them to share their presentation after they were done. To make sure that uh, we followed uh, a specific timeline, we used Google Calendar and uh, we were all able to uh, add this calendar to our own accounts so that we could keep track and not miss any deadlines. We also shared all our learning. Uh, student pages and documents were shared uh, in the shared notes folder as well as their presentations in the shared presentations folder. When students were done, it was now time for the big think. And this is the whole idea of metacognition for students. Uh, wanted them to think about their learning. I'm asking them to uh, write a minimum of 200 words in any word processor of their choice, but then I simply ask them to paste it into this form and submit it to me so that I could have all their learning in one spot. Students were also provided with tools and tutorials, uh, things like citation engines and uh, sources for royalty-free images. And for teachers, I gave them uh, information on the discovery and guided inquiry model, as well as some background data on climate change itself. So this was my first knowledge building center and uh, it worked out really, really well.